Hey guys, Irish Tell here, and welcome to FTB Infinity. This is the uh, fourth episode in my series. And in today's episode, I think my plan is... It was or originally to create a uh, mob spawner, and then go into sorting out uh, more complicated items with with the stuff, uh, with the skulls. Uh, I actually wanted to start making uh, my angel ring, as I said before. But, a little bit of thought about it. And I've actually decided that I want to go into Mistcraft today. Um, because I want to sort of show you guys how the linking book work, how it all sets, how it's all set out. Because I was looking around the other day and I couldn't find much on it uh, that shows you. I mean, there are a couple of videos on YouTube that are a bit old, but I'm going to try and do an up-to-date one today. And hopefully show you guys how to use Mistcraft um, a bit more confidently without having to worry so much. Um, my first plan, though, really quickly, is to make a, a golden bag of holding. Well, this is just simply so I've got more space in my inventory. So, let's put diamond in. Four bits of wool. Two gold. Block of gold. And I need a chest. So, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, my, yeah, so like I said, my main plan is to create all the bits that I need. Once I've got all of those, I will make everything and I'll try and make a couple of linking books and I'll show you guys exactly how the system works and what you need to do when, where and how. Um, also for those of you that are interested my quarry setup is now running uh, as you can see I've got all of my different blocks here being slowly and slowly slowly filled up. I've also uh, created a uh, crafter tier, th it's a tier 3 uh, this is simply because I was running out of space for cobblestone quite quickly and then for those of you that are interested I've also started out Back here, I've created a system where, down here, I've picked all the different things that I don't want. So that's cinnabar, these, I can't say, algae, granite, um, diorite, and I've got them all running into trash cans. Uh, you can't see them because, like I said, I'm not really bothered about collecting them. They're just going to sit down there. Cinnabar, I'm keeping because I'm not 100% sure if that has a use at the minute. I've not really checked up on it. And then I've got my co um, cobblestone, as I said, running into my crafter, so that way this, because this can hold a lot more as it slowly and slowly slowly compresses all of the different cobblestone into bigger stacks. At the minute, I'm at quadruple, and that will mean that I get 6,561 per quadruple. And then, if I do internal again, I just quickly do this. It'll give me quintuple which is 5,000 bits. 59,000, not 5,000, one minute. And that, that, obviously, that's a hell of a lot of cobblestone, obviously, but as you can see, I'm going to be collecting quite a lot anyway. Uh, this is slowly feeding out. Anything extra I get into here, I get here. And I also have the same thing going on here. Any extra just sits in here. And then every so often I can sort of come across, press that, and then just dump it all in to sort of speed up this process. Do you know, big bonus. It means I'm getting a bit more going through quickly. But yeah, here's my bag of holding, as I said. Right, so. On to what I said I was going to do today, which is the Mistcraft. Now, I've actually got everything pre-prepared upstairs in my main crafting chest here. So, first of all, we're going to start off with the ink mixer. <laughs> this is a very easy piece of kit to make. It's just four stone, glass bottle, and no, sorry, five stone, glass bottle, and some wood. So, as you can see here, I've got five stone, I've got glass bottle, and I've got my wood. I also have these, which I'm going to take out now. I'm going to do it over here because it's uh, having a bit of an issue. So, there is my first ink mixer. <laughs> then I want the uh, book binder. Which again is one, two, three, four, five plus wood. So I'm set on that. And there's my iron. Look behind it. Uh, I need a writing desk. And I believe it's that one. So that's that. And there's my writing desk. 
And now I need a notebook. Notebook. No. Book, there we go. those right so now we have those main pieces uh, I should go and set them up in my redwood tree which as you can see I've expanded up into so between this and the last episode I pretty much all I've done is well travel up and down my tree hollow it all out and sort of have well have have all my different implements sort of placed about so my main floor here which I'm going to leave and then I have my first floor which has a window out and this goes the whole way up the tree, as you slowly see. Each one sort of opens a bit more than this, this one I've left. And until eventually I come to my viewing platform, which is complete glass. And then I have my top, which takes me right up. Hmm. Right, so I'm going to place my stuff on this level, I think. So we're going to have my ink mixer, my book binder. So these are all. One box. So let's go, I think, mm, let's go ink mixer, book binder. I think this writing desk takes up two. Yeah, so have that there. I might actually have my book binder next to it, I think. Oh dear. <laughs> Wasn't paying attention to what I was using there at all. <laughs> so okay, I can fix that quite quickly. <laughs> oh dear. I'm not going to risk doing that with an axe again. <laughs> well, that was a big mistake. So let's go for the binder next to there and the ink mixer just here. Okay, so what you need to do is you go through all of these we make our different pages. Now, as this goes, I need to go get myself some glass bottles and some ink sacks to create ink. You know, obviously including the name. So we're going to get our few more glass bottles. Fortunately, you'll get these back after every usage, so I'm not going to need a stupid amount, but I'm going to go for 10. And then I need my ink sacks, which I have here. And then I believe I also need... No, I think actually I think that's it for now. So, what we do... Let's come back over to here. Into here, into here, here, right, so we have our ink mixer over here, so you get your glass bottles and you get your ink sacks. Hmm, what have I done here? Ah, no, you need to place them in without that, so. Do I need water in these? I think I need water in these. I've completely got a, I'm having a moment. <laughs> so. What I need to do is go over here, fill up these, come back over to here, and then we come back over here. Right, so put the water bottle in, put the ink in, is that how that works? No? Am I still getting this wrong? Hmm. <laughs> right, I appear to be a uh, this up at the minute. So I'm going to be right back once I've had a quick check on it again, and uh, we'll be right back. Hey guys, and we're back again. So I, I had a bit of a, obviously a bit of a brain moment there for any of you guys that noticed, but obviously I need the ink files, which I really completely forgot about. So these are like this. I'm going to, I'm going to make all of these into ink files for now, but I'm not going to use them. And go like that, and we put that there, and like that, and like that. And there. Just do them all, just because, you know, 
it means I don't have to do them later. Right, and there's my ink bars. Right, so now, what I do is I go to the ink mixer. Now, this isn't where I put water, this is where I put ink, as is obvious. And then, to take the ink off, you simply put the paper in, and this gives you a link panel. Now, the link panel, here we go, achievement, is something that you need to add with leather. This gives me uh, an unlinked link book. Now, this is very important. This is my lifeline. This keeps me here. This this means that whatever happens, whatever age I disappear into, I have a way of getting back. Now, without actually getting one, I also need uh, a lectern. Lectern. There it is. Yeah. Now, this is going to be important. So, Ooh, what's going on? Let's go to this one. A bit less iffy. Um, right, so lectern. So I'm going to need some sticks. And let's get. Let's stick with two for now. Okay, so what this means is that with this book, wherever I. I've got some buttons there as well. Anyway, wherever I right click, it will link. Now my plan is obviously is to ha Ooh, a bit lag. is to have this linked right here to this spot in the tower. So I stand here and I right click. It's now linked. That means that whatever happens later on, I have my return point. I'm also going to need to place one here, but this isn't going to be used yet. I'm going to get my descriptive book first. So to get the descriptive book, I need to place another one of these in here, like this, and then, oh, what am I doing? The notebook, I have to remember how you do these now, <laughs> that's, that's to hold all my pages, and, uh, right, and so, we come back to, obviously, everything we need here, and, as I say, we go to the book binder, place the unlinked linking panel in here and the leather in here and this gives me the descriptive book now this as it says is a one-way ticket Oop, place it there right this is a one-way ticket there's no way back once I've used this 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 will take me to a, a random age that it's generated for me this random age will be completely actually no I'll just show you guys right so you click on here you click on the age Ooh, what Click on here, and it teleports you. Now this is going to teleport me to a random age, which appears to be broken. Hmm, this is not good. I have to fix this back in a moment. This is going to take some messing about in the config, unfortunately. Right, so, panic over, panic over guys. Uh, it wasn't actually an issue with lag, it was just that it was it just took a little bit of time to load in. But as you can see it's a random biome and it's got these strange biomes over here. It it's it's you know, it's laid out in a random pattern. It's gonna be it's gonna be different to how the normal game looks. So obviously that's where I come in. So now I'm gonna place a linking book back here so that this way I don't have to worry about making it home and I'm safe. So now if I put that there, put my linking book there, I can now make it home. This basically means that whatever happens, uh, I've always got a way home. So if I press B and make a make a little make a little waypoint, this is home book. As I've now called it. So all I need to do is right click on here click on here and it takes me exactly back to the point where I linked. So now I have a linking book to a random age. Now obviously this this is good for most of you guys if you want to just go for like say quarrying because it means you've got uncharted amount of worlds where you can go and you can basically smash down everything. Now there are a couple of issues. One is that linking book as far as I'm aware is now stuck. It can't leave that age. It's there. That's it's just gonna that's gonna have to be how that is for now. But it does also mean on a separate note that 
this is now permanent. This means this this is not going to be an issue. I can go to here, and I can get back to this main world here. There's no there's no damaging moments. The the most important thing to remember whenever you're using Mistcraft is that this linking panel with this paper, not this paper, sorry, with this leather, is everything you're going to need. You're going to need a linking book. This this is the most important piece of kit for this entire experience. Whenever you go anywhere into any of these ages, you make sure you have a linked linking book. It has to be green, and it has to have been done in the overworld. That simply means that whatever happens, whatever age you go in, provided you've not completely broken the age when you go into it with um, with these panels that I'll explain later on, you can get back. Now, again, we'll ex I'll explain the next stage of this to you, and it requires pages. Now, unfortunately, I've not got any of this at a minute, and this is d being done through my series, so if you happen to have jumped onto this video simply to understand about Mistcraft, you're going to have to bear with me. I'm going to have to come back to you guys in a minute. I'm going to go and explore into this void age, or this age rather, not void age, and see if I can find a library where I can get some more useful pages so I can make my own world. So I'm going to be right back with that, and I'll see you guys in a second. Hey guys. So uh, after a little bit of exploring through this world, I found what I was looking for. It's uh, these sorts of buildings here, and they look like libraries almost. I've actually put a torch in here because I briefly walked in. But as you can see, they have these pages. Now each one has its own thing on it. It's an amplified normal one. Lightning, so it just exploded next to me. And Ender Starfield. Now these are all the different types of What's that? Uh, thing. So if I get the notebook and I bring it out, I can actually put these pages into here. So it's it's a nice way of holding everything together. But also, if I knock out a couple of these, for one I get free books, but also it's not on this side then. It's on the other side. Sometimes behind here you will find books of some description. Ah, chest. Exactly what I was looking for. To get this block out. So these chests are always in here, on one side or the other, and I get different pages, so I get fluid relium. Floating Islands, which is actually something I was looking for. Uh, Sacred Spring and Extreme Hills. Now these are obviously all different sort of biomes that you can put into each individual world. Although apparently I have to put them all separately, which is a bit of a pain. A few over here. It's not the end of the world though. It's it does have a lot of space. And notebooks are pretty cheap. So then once you've done that, again, it's the same principle. I just need to go back to my home portal and I will teleport back home. And so once I've come gone back, I think I'm going to collect these books first though. Uh, I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, guys and girls, so I'm back again. Right, so after I have a quick look uh, of hunting around, I found some pages. So I spent a couple of hours, I picked up the pages and... I found what I'd like to make as my first written book that I've made myself. Uh, I'm going to try and make a floating enchanted forest island sort of style thing. So here are all the different books that I need. Now another pro tip I'm going to suggest to you guys that I is similar to the linking book of having always one of those in your inventory is this. When you have a page, you only get one of it. But you can right click it and it gives you a copy of that page. All you need is ink in here and paper in here, and then I can put it into another notebook. So what I've done here is I've taken exactly what I want, and I've made an exact copy of it and copied and pasted the entire thing down. So this notebook now has everything that I want in it. So it basically involves having the biome that you want, how you want the biome to be distributed. So I could possibly have any kind of biome here, absolutely any that you can think of, and then any kind of distribution. So it could be a checkerboard, it could be the style that it is in the world we've just been to, where it's sort of like diagonal with two different biomes. And then for that you'd have to have two separate biomes. If you didn't have the two separate biomes and you had one, there would be an instability in the world. And then you would start to get rot, which slowly and slowly and slowly destroys your world that you've created. Which is something you want to avoid, because, you know, if it gets destroyed slowly by rot, it means you can't use it, you can't do anything with it. And it basically makes the world useless. 
Uh, they then have this, which is called, the, which is the stone block, which means the base block of the biome is stone. Uh, you then have no seas because I'm I don't really want any seas for this. It's a floating world. I've said I wanted an island world, so obviously that's exactly what I've got. You can have normal lighting, natural foliage, natural grass, you know, natural water. And now we move on to the, like the time of day. So like, I want an eternal day world. So what I've done is I've got a, a normal moon, and I've put zero length on it and z and zenith phase. This means that the moon will not have any time on it at all. It won't appear at all. Uh, I then have the normal sun. Unless, actually, it might, it might be the other way around, but it might mean that normal sun has zero length on it, which means it doesn't move. I'm not 100%, but I know that's the order it needs to be, as I've mucked about with it for a little bit. Uh, I want an ender star field as the, like, the sky. Uh, I've decided that I don't want weather. I want a natural sky colour, natural cloud, natural fog, and clear modifier. So this this is just something that I've looked at. I've looked up on the internet. I've found this is... I've, oh, I've not looked it up, sorry. I've, I've created one previously to this and then destroyed the book. Just a simple fact if I wanted to make sure it works for you guys. That's my entire plan. Now you can have as many pages in here as you like. This book just increases in space the more and more you want. You could have a large forest, you could have a, a large biomes distribution which means you could have anywhere from three upwards of uh, biomes. If you don't have the three, again because it's a large biomes it won't work, it will fail and you'll start to get rot or instability. Uh, right, so this is this is what I want with my book. This is the book I want to create for you guys. This is what I want you to see. So, here I have the notebook with everything in it. Let me go to the book binder. This has got leather in it. I then put the notebook in here, and this is now empty. This means that this book is now empty. All of the pages have been put into here. So now if I, I called this one, let's say, my... For, uh, for the series, I'm probably going to do... This is going to be my magic one, I think. My magic my magic world. So that will be that. And now, hopefully, with a little bit of effort, that should mean I can then take one moment. We're done. Right. So, what I've realised is, without thinking, is that uh, I also need to put in a linking panel. So I've quickly done that. I've literally just done that. I've jumped. to me 30 seconds. You guys won't have seen that, hopefully, in the way I edit this. But, uh, yeah. So I also had to create another linking panel. This then gives me the descriptive book. This book is then a book that I have now made. This is, this is a special book that I've made specifically in the way that I want it to be made. Now, I take you out. Take uh, my block of wood so I can have my lecture. I'm going to get another one of these, actually. Now, I'm kind of praying here a little bit because I've been having some issues with these worlds not loading in immediately. My lectern and my descriptive book. This book is my magic world. Now, this is hopefully... That's a separate one. I don't want to touch about with that. Okay, this is my, ma my magic world. Now, with my golden bag... I have placed a load of these linking books in here. Now I also found out that if you have a linking books in these bags, when you jump to the new world, the game assumes you have no linking books. So it gives you the achievement for going into a world without a linking book. This did make me panic the first time, because I, I thought maybe it kicked them out of my inventory, but it doesn't. All it means is they're in here, it's not in your direct inventory, and the game can't see them. But I have I have my linking books in here. I've actually done four of these because I'm kind of I was kind of afraid that I might end up in a world without one and forget so I made a few but so here is the world that we've just made uh, as you can see it's got all the pages in it if I flick through them but I'm gonna go back in a minute and I click on here now this should praying a little bit hopefully load into the world it takes a little bit of time the first time around I've, I've found this out now but as you can see there's a moon there this shouldn't be here. Hopefully it'll load me in properly. It's just loading the world. He says, praying. Um, and... And... There's my moon. My sun. My world's not loading. Ah, there we go. Look at that. So this has teleported me to my biome. It seems to have teleported me underground. But again, I can just do uh, spawn here. 
and with a little bit of hope and prayer, if we look, I have a floating island in the middle. Ah, now, this is actually something that's really helpful, as it's just appeared. This down here, if you can see it, is a starfisher. Now, these are sometimes populated in worlds. They're very hard to find. I'm actually quite fortunate that I've got one here. If you jump into that, although I'm not going to right now for fear of either missing it and dying and losing everything, uh, if you fall into that, it will take you back to the world spawn location on the map. Now, that means it's not going to take you to your bed. It's not going to take you to anything you've created. It will simply take you home. And that home could be... Oh, and it... Is that, an... that is an enemy. Well, I'm going to have to run away because I've got nothing to fight him with. Um, yeah, so that will take you home, back to your home world. It's not the end of the world if that happens, you know. It, it's It's quite useful. It means that you can... You know, build around and not. If you forget the linking book, it means you've got a way back. It means that it's not the end of the world if you've forgotten it. It's not gonna completely mess you over. It's you know, it, it's it's like I say, it's the bonus of having that world. Now, whenever you jump into a world, it's almost always populated by these uh, monsters. But if I press F7, ah, uh, yeah. So it's it's harder for them to spawn in areas because it's meant to be light, but realistically, it shouldn't have many issues. It's just the shadows where they'll spawn. The rest of it should stay day all time. And as you can see, I've got quite a nice biome here. I might end up messing around and creating some copies and trying to find what I'd, what I'd call the perfect biome that I want. But because this is a little bit, a little bit awkward for me. But it's, that's the point. You've got your world, and oh, thank God for that. Whew. But yeah, as you can see, it takes you back to the overworld, and it's you've got. I'm back at where I spawned exactly, actually where I spawned when I started the game. All I could say about that is thank God, because I thought I was going to fall off into the void and completely die. <laughs> so yeah, that's, that's a brilliant example. It's obviously it's taken me right back here, right back to the main world, back to where I spawned, and I'm I'm back again, and I didn't have to use a linking book. I've got to be honest, I don't recommend that. I didn't mean to fall off. That was a complete accident and I panicked. But, you know, it worked. So, that's the linking world. So now, I'm going to probably spend a little bit of time messing about with that and try and find the perfect world that I'm going to use. But, you know, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Hopefully you've now got some idea of how to use a linking book and how they all work. Uh, if you did find any use from it, let me know. If you, if you need anything else explaining, I will try my best in the comments. And thanks, guys, and have a nice day.